Hey guys, so I'm out here by uh, Jordan Lake and I was gonna make a fire and cook a squirrel that we shot just a little while ago. And what I'm gonna be using for the first time is flint and steel. I have my char cloth right here, which is gonna be the easiest way. So this is the first time I've used it, but it's a particularly um, difficult day to be making a fire. First of all, there was a, um, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't, but there's a forest fire, a controlled burn that came through here on Saturday and today's Monday and then yesterday it snowed, rained and sleet all night long so everything is burnt and wet so I had to walk around and try really hard to find some stuff but I was able to manage so I have a kind of damp bundle of tinder here and I'm gonna, going to use this piece of Flint, my mora. I don't know. I don't know if you can see the sparks there, but uh, stick with me and see what we can get. All right, guys. Let me give it a try. I found a side that sparks real good. There we go. Try to get some little sticks on there right now. There's very few dry things around here. Most of it's just gonna smolder for a little bit. I get down here and uh, load a little bit. I'm putting just the littlest pieces of grass on here right now. Just trying to get this wood burning. It almost went out on me for a second. Because the wind was blowing it one way, and I was trying to blow it the other way. Add little pieces to it. Got some bigger stuff over here. I 
I put it on loose enough so I'm not smothering it, but it's still, still work on drying it out while I can add little things to it. So um, you see that I got it going now and I'll get back to you when I get it to be a good sized stable fire.